guys, welcome back. If you're a start, if you're a beginner and want to learn how to pass the ball, catch the ball, cradle the ball, do everything like, like an like a athlete or a lacrosse player, you can count on me. So I will be showing you how to do all the stuff in lacrosse, except those super hard things. You're gonna learn that when you, uh, when your coaches teach you or when you get older. If you're not as old as me, I don't know. All right, so, so we are gonna learn how to cradle. So cradling is a little easy. It's one of the easiest parts, but you gotta be careful sometimes with it. So cradling is really important because if you walk around with a ball and someone maybe checks out your stick or maybe it falls out of your stick, if you cradle, then it won't fall. Let me show you what cradling is. Cradling is when you take your hand, put it like this, and cradle, like that. It's easy. So look, I'm running with the ball, and it's not falling out of my stick. And also, if you do these super weird cradles like that, and see the ball just went flying, you just do it like lightly, like that. And cradles are kind of like a face dodge, but I don't think we should get to that yet. I think you're gonna learn that soon. Face dodge, face dodge, <laughs> cradle, face dodge. <laughs> All right. So that was a cradle. If you want more practice, you can pause the video and then you can come back. And that's with all the things I'm gonna teach. You can pause and go back. All right. So now we're gonna learn about catching the ball. I don't have a partner right now. I'm in my room, I'm outside. Catching the ball is pretty hard but it's easy for me now. My dad says catching the ball and throwing the ball is one of the hardest things ever in lacrosse. But that's not true, there's more things that if you get older, learn, it's gonna be much harder. And yeah, all right, so we got a stick and we got a ball. You catch the ball, right? But there's this really important thing about catching a ball. If you catch the ball, your stick has to be like this. But you should always remember, if you catch it like that, look, see, if I catch, when I, like this, catch the ball, bounces out. You know why it bounces out? Because you're not accepting it. You know what accepting means? If you don't, I mean, yeah, you don't. Starters or beginners don't really know what that means. I'm just saying, they probably don't. Um, so accepting means just pulling the stick back. But you gotta be careful if there's a girl behind you because she can easily just shake that ball right out of your stick. So, so when you accept the pass, just like when you accept it, just get a little pull back and then quickly turn it back and then keep running. Like do a quick cradle and then run. So like that. All right. Now you can practice that more. Like pause it, like I said, if you want to. I'm not forcing you to. So here's about throwing the ball. So throwing the ball is a little hard because if you don't throw it right, the girls don't really catch it as good, don't really like catch as good and that stuff, but don't worry, it's, it was pretty hard for me. So when you throw the ball, you just want your stick to be like this, one hand down here, one hand up here, but you can't have it all the way up or it's going to like go like, I don't even know. It's gonna go weird. I can't do it right now because it's gonna break my whole room. Um, all right. So when you throw the ball, you're gonna just wanna go like this. Step one foot forward and launch it. And what I did was a fake. I didn't actually do it. <laughs> That's called a fake. So like you can fake it when you shoot it. Uh, fake it when you pass it. Mm, like that. So it's like a face dodge like that. And that's really how the throw kind of, but let's do it when you're throwing, you can't let the ball be like this, like this. When you throw, it's gonna go down, go right down, <laughs> throw it right down. <laughs> All right, so another reason is, is if you're shooting, I'm gonna get to shooting soon. So next is going to be shooting, so you can practice pretending to throw for a little bit. Or if you have a bounce back and so on a buddy, you can practice throwing and then catching 
Remember to accept that pass. Alright, so now that you know how to throw and catch, I know you probably are done. Um, we can get to shooting. So shooting the ball is kind of like passing, but you have to do it a little harder. But, you know, the goalie, it, a goalie's like you, but that's wearing all pads and stuff, like all protective and that stuff. Um, you don't really want to hit the goalie. Like, if you do it on purpose, that's not really, you know, not nice. Uh, but if you, like, hit the goalie by accident, it's fine because they're wearing all pads and stuff. But you should always remember to shoot in the corners. Maybe sides, but just never shoot where the goal is. So let me get to the shooting part. Um, one of the coaches taught me, when you shoot, don't do this. Don't, like, do this. Because when you do it, it's going to go down, actually. It's not going to go super far or, just, like, right into the net. And you got to put, like, a lot of power into it. Because if you don't put that too much power, it's going to be, like, a... Pass, and then the goalie's gonna save it, and I'm really like, yeah, the goalie saved it, like that boring stuff. Like that. <laughs> We're gonna get to scooping next, like I just said. Right, so, when you want, when you want to shoot, should it have, have your coaches or, um, guardians or whoever, teaches you or wants you to play lacrosse, ever taught you a sweet spot? The sweet spot is in the middle of the stick. So, you always want the pass to go in the sweet spot, or if you're gonna, like, throw something, should always be in the sweet spot. Should always be in the middle. Right. So, same with the shooting. You get the ball, and shoot with the sweet, sweet spot. That's how we shoot. But we just gotta step and put so much power into it, it's gonna get, like, a rip and then you get a score and then your team's gonna be proud it for me when i was um it was when i was first with my team i didn't know anyone and my team didn't really care if i scored goals or not now i know my team and yeah you know that so now we're gonna get to scooping uh i don't know how to show you about scooping you know a ball and a stick Scoop it. Scoop. Alright, so the ball is on the floor. Pretend that's the floor. And then your stick is coming. You don't do that. And then scoop it in like that. Because that, you're not allowed to do that. And there's this mouthpiece thing that you're not allowed to do if you didn't know. And if you had this, like, hook on your, like, other goggles or helmet, and that leads to your... Not peace, you're not allowed to do it because it's only for boys, they say. I don't know why though. It's not fair. So, so you're not going to want to just go in front of the ball and when you kick at it, don't just do that and then scoop it. That isn't fair. You just scoop the ball and dig deep and then you'll get it. So now you can practice that like this. Scoop. Oh God. Like I just did. Scoop. But you know, there's this girl on one of my lacrosse teams. Um, she, she's, I don't want to tell her her name, I don't know. She, um, she's good at scooping the ball. And you know how I scoop it, right? I scoop it like this. But she scoops it like this. Like in her. I think that's pretty good because if you scoop it like out here, they can just swing and then. The ball's gonna be theirs. But if you're my age or yeah, you're not allowed to check yet. Next year I will definitely be able to check. And you know how that goes. If you did. Eh, you might know. So scooping the ball, just practice it. Scoop. Or scoop. Practice going out or going in. Like that. Okay. Since you're done now, 
I think you learn most of the things for a beginner to know. I really hope you appreciate my help. I just want to help you guys because I know you guys um kind of want to know how to play lacrosse if you're watching this video. And you know, if you want, you can practice these things um, each day or each or each weekend or each day or you know, before you like go on your lacrosse team or have a tournament or yeah, we on my team we always have tournaments, not even a game. It's hard to practice throwing. Catching, scooping, cradling, face dodging, and yeah. Have a good rest of your day, and make sure to practice. Become an amazing athlete. Bye!